I have seen everyone talking about this movie on TikTok. Not movie, it's a show. Get in check, girl. Basically, everyone and their mother has been crying over this and saying how good it is. And the thing is, is everyone said that anyone but you was gonna be good, and it just wasn't. So I'm really excited to see what this show has in store for us. Let's put this on and let's go. We are currently trying to hit a goal of a thousand subscribers because I have a very, very exciting secret video being planned out that I cannot wait for you guys to see, but I will only release it when we hit a thousand subscribers. If this video reaches above 10 likes, I will make sure to watch the second and the third episode and upload it within a week of this video, just for you guys. Make sure to join this journey of us watching movies and TV shows together and forming opinions together and talking about it. It's just so much fun to hang out here over on the Grimble channel, so. Also, I would like to say, my last video that I posted, we were at 687 subscribers. Right now we are at 696. You guys are insane, and I feel like we're gonna hit that 1,000 subscriber goal so much quicker than I can anticipate. Um, but it just makes me excited because I have a really, really exciting video for you guys playing, so anyways. Enjoy the video. I'm really excited because people have been hyping the shit out of this. What are days for? That's a really good question. So this is based in Britain, the British land. Where can we live but days? Are we gonna be at a club? Yeah, let's dance everybody. Is this the main male lead? And she's the main woman lead? Oh, he just bumped into her. They're having a love at first sight look. <laughs> Why is no one checking on that man? He's just passed out on the ground. It's going to be Katie, Alex. I can get behind Katie, Alex, Rory, Douglas, and Fran. Who the fuck names their child Biscuit? Where you Where you home? Home? Is his name like Dexter or something? Dexter? I think it's probably Dexter. <laughs> oh, oh, Emma. He, who just fell on top of her? Callum. But mama is not scared. Oh, you drank too much, my dude. Oh, oh. <sighs> I'd be, if I were her, I'd just be terrified that he would throw up on me. Like, I have such a fear of vomit the whole time. I just like, please, throw up on me. Please, please, please. Drink. Uh, go. Your friends want you to go. Go get that drink with that man. I'm Dexter. Dexter. Okay, what did I say before? Dexter? <laughs> I've seen you around. I've seen you around. That's a lie. That's a flat out lie. No, you haven't. How much you want to bet this is the first night he ever saw her? Did you see me before tonight? They're trying to talk while it's that loud. The library. He saw her at the library. Is he lying? You've never seen me before in your life. He's lying. In my dissertation on Elizabeth Barrett Browning and this one it's the Portuguese cycle. What is she saying? I'm like, that's so many words. You're supposed to be drunk. <laughs> unless she didn't drink. Unless she had like barely half a beer. All my friends are black. So are you gonna stay or are you gonna go? I think you should stay. This is really charming so far. I don't expect to enjoy it this much. Please don't let me down. I wanna find something good. So far I like the cinematography of it all. Like the shots, the lighting. I just wanna say this, you know how Netflix sometimes has that problem where they like overproduce on a show? Like let's say, I'll give you a perfect example. My Life with the Walter Boys, okay? Yeah, the scenery is nice, this and that, but some parts of it feel like overly produced, like you could feel like you're watching a TV show. And I'm more so like that when you're watching something, it feels like real life. To be honest, I'm actually watching Better Call Saul right now with my husband, it's such a good show. I never knew that it was this good of a show. And it's making me wanna watch Breaking Bad because yes, I haven't seen that show either. I tried to get into it and I couldn't, so hopefully it's time I'll be able to. My point is, is that I love watching things that feel real. I love watching things I'm watching and I'm like, oh, this is very realistic, this could happen. And I, the shots feel real. I don't know if that would make sense to anyone else, but I feel like there's some people out there that know exactly what I mean, so I won't explain it too much, but the right people will get it. <laughs> Are you guys gonna kiss? Are you not gonna kiss? You had a pretty good evening together. You should have said hello. She should have said hello when? When you saw me around. Mm. He's saying he has a liking for her. And he would have taken notice sooner if she said something. And oh, 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 they're doing it. They're doing it. They're doing it. They're doing it. I usually don't condone kissing on the first date. Not even first date because they just met. But they had a really good evening together of like bonding and stuff. So makes sense, I think. I'm just going to put the tape on. Did her song just cut out and now she's going to put on a different song? In the middle of a makeout? <laughs> He's like, what the fuck? For your life. The fan for your life. You're about to do the little nasty nasty and you're going to ask someone, what's the plans for your life? Girl. Oh God. <laughs> exactly, what? <laughs> what are you asking that right now? And then China maybe? So he wants to travel around. He wants to go to France and China and, in and apparently India. That's your plan for the future. Just go on holiday. Sounds like he wants to travel. Avoiding reality. Well, 
What? Wait, what, what does traveling have to do with avoiding reality? What are you doing next month? I meant, like, the future future. Some of us don't know yet, girl. Some of us are still figuring it out. All right, then. Famous. I want to be famous. I can imagine you at 40. <laughs> Can you? So she just described a loveless marriage for his 40s. Rate yourself so very highly for your sense of humor, but actually you're just really bloody rude. I do kind of get what he's saying here because I, w I literally was like, girl, like, why are you bringing up that in his 40s he's going to be in a loveless marriage? You don't even know the guy? It was a little pessimistic. It was a little pessimistic and rude. So I understand where he's coming from. You taste wine of fags. I'm so you. They were kissing. She said, you have to brush your teeth because your breath stinks. And he said, I don't mind if you don't. And she was like, what do you mean? What are, what are you saying? And he was like, you're breast stinky too. And then she got up. They're never gonna do it, are they? <laughs> I can't tell if this is going really well and it's funny or it's like kind of going a little bad. Is it going a little bad? I, I can't tell. Just tell him not to play with himself. Oh my God, the friend has been listening the whole time. Girl, if you don't tell her that she's like fucking up right now, it'd be a good friend and tell her that she's met, she's being stupid. I mean, he's used to these perky, giggly, posh girls and I'm in there being rude and sarcastic and twitchy. I mean, sarcastic and twitchy is fine, but rude is a little... Do sex. I mean, I agree with her. If he is working for a list, it's your turn, baby. I kind of disagree with her friend there because I wouldn't, the last thing you want to feel is like just a person on a list. But at the end of the day, if you're having these thoughts about someone, maybe you shouldn't sleep with them. Maybe. It's so late, no more talking. But she literally said all she wants to do is talk. I love that sound. The birds in the morning? Black bears at dawn, yeah. I like it when I'm not tired. I like when I wake up and I can hear the birds and it's nice, but sometimes when you wake up and you're exhausted, all you're thinking is, oh my God, shut up, shut up, shut up. Have you done something that you'll regret? You can't regret anything because then you wouldn't be where you are today. Ask me in the morning. It is the morning, girl. Okay, it is the morning. That's what I'm saying. Have you done something you'll regret? No. Red answer. Now he's watching her sleep. Okay, that was an interesting night. Went differently than I expected, but... He's waking up and trying to run out. I think she's gonna notice though. Yeah, she is, okay. I was gonna leave a note. Oh, that's nice. That's not this, that he was gonna leave a note and not just run out the door. I might see if we can leave later. Damn, so he is supposed to go meet his parents to leave and she's like, I'm gonna go shower. I wanna clean myself up, put on new clothes. You're welcome to stay if you want, but you could also leave because like, she knows that he has to go meet his parents. And he is like, girl, I'm gonna wait for you. So did you? It's just so funny meeting the friend in the bathroom. Did you have he can hear. No. What did you do? We talked. Is he calling on a hamburger phone? Yeah, okay. The hamburger is like reading back to him a time. It's like, it's 9.32, something, something, something. So is he not even calling his parents? Like, is, is he actually not meeting his parents? Is he lying or is he not lying? Now I don't know what's happening. And does she know that the burger is in a phone and it's not gonna work? Or is that actually a phone and he's just not calling anybody? Um, I'm Tilly. <laughs> Hi, Tilly. Uh, breakfast? So is Tilly gonna make them breakfast or are they all making breakfast like together? Are they gonna drink tea and not coffee? Probably. Probably gonna be tea. <laughs> That's such a girl apartment, I love it. Let's climb Arthur's seat. What's climbing Arthur's seat? You've been here four years and you've never climbed Arthur's seat. I'm so uncultured, I don't know what that is. Is it like a, what's that word? When someone, th when someone builds something and it's, in the word left my brain when someone builds something archaeological sites, but that's not the word I'm looking for. When someone builds something, they're an artist. It is a statue. See, you just kind of sometimes let yourself talk until you get to the point. What I'm trying to say is that is this like a statue and they're gonna sit on it or something? They have to like climb it. Wait, I like I feel really stupid. Let me <laughs> hold on. What is Arthur's seat? It's a peak known for hiking and sightseeing, but why is it called Arthur's Seat? The park's highest point is Arthur's Seat, an ancient volcano, and sits 251 meters above sea level, giving excellent view of the city. Okay, so that's cool. It's an ancient volcano, and you get like a really cool view. It's, ooh, okay, I never knew about that. That's actually really interesting. What the f- Hello? What is going on? <laughs> what the fuck is this? You two should go without me. I mean, it makes sense. You don't want a third wheel when they just met each other. They're gonna bond. Oh, it is really pretty. Oh, he's dying. He is wearing the wrong outfit for hiking. She's wearing shorts and a t-shirt and he's wearing literally dress pants, a dress shirt, suspenders, isn't it called suspenders, and uh, fancy shoes. 
Oh no, she's wearing jeans, not shorts, sorry. What are we gonna do? We get to the top. Admire the view! He's also smoking. That's definitely not easy on the lungs to be walking straight uphill. He must really like her to be doing all of this. Let's see. Who's that? Why'd he drop her hand when his friend said hi? That's a real shitty, shitty thing to do. That is pretty. That is very pretty. I feel like it could be so much prettier at night though. I wonder if this is green screen or if they actually had to climb up this to film this. Someone might decline to have sex with you. I can only be explained as an order from God himself. She didn't decide to not have sex with you because of religion or because of God. <laughs> She just decided she didn't want to have sex. They just, she wanted to talk. She wanted to have, she wanted to get to know you. Okay, cheese. Oh no, not cheese. Why not cheese? So rude. <laughs> That's their first photo together. Him calling her rude for the fifth time. <laughs> 15th of July. If it rains today, it's gonna rain all summer. Oh yeah, I forgot that they, it rains there in the summer. Is that a fucking seagull? That's a nice shot. Too much gambling. It's pretty, but it's also very brown. Well, um, bye. What a, what a girl, that's not, that's not the way to say goodbye after the time that you guys have spent together. Will you come for a drink? What now? I think it's sweet that he just, he wants to keep spending time with her. He doesn't want to separate. He's carrying her bag. And he's holding her hand. I hope he doesn't drop it in front of his friends. Oh, they're running together. I really appreciate that he just wants to keep spending time with her. I think that's the cutest thing. Stop! Is that his parents? And he dropped her hand again. Second time. Uh, hello. Did he just drop her bag on the floor? Pleased to meet you, Emma. I'm Allison. She just met the parents. First night that she met him. Why don't you join us for dinner? Join them for dinner! That sounds so fun. Let's do it. Uh, thank you. No. Girl, this is, it sounds like such an adventure. It sounds so fun. Like things that you guys could talk about in the future. Go for the dinner. It's really nice to meet you. You too, Emily. Emma. Emma. Ooh. <laughs> well, have a nice life. Yeah, do they like not have numbers or something that they could keep in contact? They literally just have to say, have a nice life. I think, what the, f what the, what is going on? That's also a really ugly bag. It's just a friend. That's not true, but I understand why you tell your parents that. Because they just, they literally did just meet. So I think that's a little justified. Emily! What? <sighs> Emily? <laughs> and then I realized I don't have any, any way of getting in touch with you. There you go. He really cares. I, I was convinced that that was the end of it. I love that he ran after her. Thought maybe you'd want to come down and stay. You. Bro, if he's asking you to stay with him, go, go. He cares. He literally is enjoying his time with you so much that he wants you to stay at his house. Yes. yes. Oh. oh. Finally, she said the right thing. I am. Bye, Dex. Em and Dex. Y'all aren't gonna kiss or something? 15th of July, 1989. Does he just jump into bed with another woman? Okay, I understand now. The show started off 1988, so now the next episode will be skipped a year, so it'll be 1989. I'm pretty, and that's what I'm assuming, which means he's with another girl. He didn't keep his fucking promise. Oh, they didn't make a promise. <laughs> I'm just over-exaggerating. <laughs> I'm really freaking enjoying this. Like, I am enjoying this to another level that I didn't expect. I am obsessed with the cinematography. I'm, ex I'm obsessed with the directing. I love the different shots. The acting feels very, very natural. Like, it just feels like two people are joking around talking with each other and I feel like this show is going to break me so I'm very excited but let me know what you guys thought about the show I'm super interested to hear but I for one can say that I am thoroughly enjoying myself so far I'm understanding the reviews I really hope that they keep going in this direction I really 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 hope that they don't mess it up because <laughs> then then I'll have to give the show a bad review and I don't want to do that because I'm really enjoying it so far so I can't wait to continue watching the show with you guys thank you guys for sitting here with here la, 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 la. I cannot wait to continue the show with you guys thank you guys so 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 much for sitting here and watching it with me and I will see you guys in the next one.